The atmosphere right now is supreme. It's really cool. We, um, it wasn't cool that we lost two players, but something, it was very, a little bit negative, but something cool came with it. And that was uh, three new players that are really hungry, ready to go. It's just, it's just brought up the team a lot, I think, feel like the balance is much better now. We have more dynamic in the game. We have a really strong Greedo side. We have a really strong Snake side. We have a really strong center. So um, it's, it's fantastic. I love it. And, and the tricky thing is that we don't have a coach. So we, you know, the, the ex more experienced guys like Carl, Knut and me, we have to try to come up figure out the, the game plans as we go. We learned a lot this first event, so I think we're gonna take all that knowledge and just go home and, and work on it, make it a lot better for next tournament. We uh, prepared by uh, trying to stay alive <laughs> to make the team happen. Because uh, when we got the news about Scorpions not playing this year, it was about three weeks before the event, so uh, it was kind of hard. We didn't know if we were going to make practice or not at all because we didn't have a team, we didn't have a sponsor. We were sponsored by Mechdev in Sweden and with Scorpions, but so we had to work it out and make sure everything got going there. Because uh, as you know, it's very expensive to play the Millennium on pro level. Too expensive. Make sure you note that. It's too expensive. You need to make it cheaper for us to play pro. We had a two-day practice and we had the perfect timing because the snow just melted off the field. <laughs> and there was still some ice in the morning at the practice field, but, uh, but uh, the first warm sun in Sweden came out and uh, we practiced solid, uh, Cyclone from Helsinki and some other teams. Uh, so it was a good run. Stockholm Ignition, thank you very much. Also Para from Vision helped us out set up the practice before uh, the event, which was very helpful. So that was our preparation, the worst preparation that I ever experienced. But the result was, you know, okay. Leopard came out. Leopard was... Uh, because at the time when um, when I started playing with Joy Division, we had camouflage and the sport was moving from being in the woods to becoming a, you know, we tried to move the sport away from being a war game. Uh, it was going to be more like speedball. Our sponsors at the time, Angel, they uh, arranged this really cool event called Hyperball where we played behind plastic tubes instead of the woods. So. They also invented the non-camouflage playing gear, which was pretty cool. And um, so we're playing this event in Sweden and this British company just had a bunch of, uh, bunch of animal printed gear. And we needed to find something that was not camouflage. And <laughs> Maggie and me, the, the, the founder of Joy Division, we just saw that leopard there hanging in the booth and we said like, that's it, that's our stuff. You can't sell it to anyone else, we bought everything. He made like uh, custom joy stuff for us in Leopard and uh, we're the only straight guys in the world that uh, rock Leopard. It's been fun, brought us a lot of, a lot of fun throughout the time, I don't know, Leopard is like, it's cool, it's natural, it's, it's awesome, fast, aggressive.
is uh, Jöran Ås, I come from Sweden. I grew up with uh, players like Saban and Karl um, from the beginning uh, where I played. Played for like, I think it's 14 years now, years now. Always been in the background of uh, the joy, always have the feeling of them, uh, have them as inspirations for all the time, uh, all my time being growing up in paintball. Uh, especially uh, Seban, that's taking care of a lot of people. Um, he really has a fire for the game and uh, for the development of it. And um, so a lot of inspiration comes from him. So before I was a coach for Scorpions, um, I had some ear injuries, so um, coaching felt like the natural way to do. Uh, but last season I started playing. Uh, play again and I started playing quite good again uh, and uh, when I got the call from uh, the guys in Joy to uh, they said that uh, we're bringing back Joy guys, Joy and uh, we want you to play it was a no-brainer to say yes um, I've had them, them as an inspiration like I said for all my growing up in paintball and uh, to be able to uh, represent the Leopard is an amazing feeling. They have such a background and I hope I uh, make them proud. The preparation in retrospect was uh, things happen and it happened real quick so I didn't know anything about the uh, comeback until I think it was about two months before the first this event here the, in uh, Saint Tropez and um, so the preparations were like like always uh, pre season pre practicing uh, physical uh, running and uh, such and um, snap shooting drills doing drills for hours and hours and end my position is uh, up in the middle uh, I play the uh, some call it Godzilla, we, uh, called, uh, we call it Dallas, the big one. Um, basically, I mess with the guys in the middle, I mess with the guys going up, so they have a hard time do their job while our guys do it faster and better. Living stereo. I'm uh, Saban Samuelson. 
I live in Sweden. I play with Joy Division and um, I've been playing since 92. So it's actually 25 year anniversary for me playing paintball. That's a long time. And still uh, as fun as it was from the beginning, or even more fun now. And um, uh, this year I'm uh, taking it a little bit slower. So uh, maybe I won't be playing uh, that many uh, European Cup tournaments. But still uh, practice, practicing as much as uh, normal and uh, playing uh, Swedish events. I uh, work with paintball in Sweden. I have a site and uh, I run uh, MASH Paintball Club. It's uh, Sweden's uh, biggest paintball club. We have uh, about six uh, to eight teams every year playing the Swedish uh, championship. And uh, we're pretty good at it. Uh, especially with uh, Joy, of course, we uh, win uh, the series uh, sometimes, almost every year so far, but uh, the other team's getting better and better. And, um, well, you can uh, conclude it to um, Paintball is my life right now. In a normal week, uh, I try to practice three times uh, per week. And I do that with re-balls. Uh, in Sweden we have uh, pretty cold weather, especially this uh, year, 2017. It's been like uh, just a week ago in May, it was uh, minus two degrees snowing. So that's pretty shitty. So we still uh, practice practicing uh, indoor with re-balls and uh, it's really, really good because it's efficient. But the problem is that uh, you don't really get the right length when you're uh, uh, shooting, so uh, it uh, takes a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, adoption when you get out and uh, and you can practice a real field. But uh, what's good with the reball is that uh, if you practice two hours, you uh, you know you can compare that to like five hours practice in outdoor because it's so much more effective. Uh, so. You know, that's, that's the way we practice. I don't do any uh, gym or stuff like that. I think that's for uh, the guys that want to look good. I don't uh, care about that. I just want to play good. <laughs> so, um, reball is my thing and I actually, I'm pretty reball damaged. So, I sometimes I prefer playing reball before normal paintball. And that's how it is. What I do when I don't play paintball? Hmm. Uh, of course, I spend a lot of uh, time doing some uh, amateur carpeting. That's my hobby. So I'm uh, I'm trying to build shit, and uh, of course I do a lot of cooking. That's my hobby, uh, and drink a lot of wine with my wife, and I play with my three children, uh, especially with my uh, youngest one is a five-year-old. So we. I try to go up early in the morning, build some Lego, then I do some work and uh, pick him up after school and we build some more Lego and then we go out, we build uh, some uh, wood stuff and uh, you know, so cooking and uh, carpeting and uh, family stuff, that's uh, what I do when I don't do paintball. Well, uh, during that time, uh, a lot of uh, the team members uh, decided to uh, quit the team uh, to uh, starting building families. And of course, I did the same thing. Me and my girlfriend uh, have, uh, during that time, uh, got two kids named Rasmus and Sigrid. So, uh, it was uh, good with some time out uh, from the team. Uh, the 2017 season is the same as every season. It's only one goal and then it's to come number one.
So that made us uh, finish our tournament on Saturday and uh, we realized I think our mistakes in uh, preparation was not good enough for this event sadly. So we will for sure uh, make it better for London and uh, come out uh, with uh, more functional and better preparations. Uh, so hopefully we'll, uh, London will be our event and at least uh, we aim for at least uh, top four in that event. So that was it for Bitburg. Thank you.